Welcome to my new video. In this one, guys, I'm going to talk about relationships. And I think you've been following the videos, right? Because if you have, then you know that this series of videos is dedicated to Oxford Word Skills book, Intermediate. Stay with me with lesson eight of Oxford Word Skills. The first thing I want to tell you about is to make friends. A lot of people make mistakes when they want to use this form of sentence make friends. Why? Because mistakenly, they think if they say, I want to find friends, it has a similar meaning, but it doesn't. As a matter of fact, that's wrong. So you are not allowed to say, I want to find a friend. We don't find friends, we make friends. For example, I find it very hard to make friends. Make friends. Keep this collocation in mind. Next one is an expression. That's when we say, I get on well with someone. To get on well with someone, which means to have a good relationship with someone. If you get on well with your brother, it means that you don't have fights and you're on good terms with each other. You don't have problems with each other. That's getting on well with someone. For example, do you get on well with your classmates? We have got two words, rely on someone and reliable. Well, basically the meaning of these two words, if we're talking about the root of these two words, is to make sure that someone does what they say they would. So if I say, I'm going to do this for you, if I'm a reliable person, I will do it. If I'm not, then I'll probably go back on my word. So that's it. Reliable and rely on someone. Now, another point that you have to be careful about is the preposition. Rely on someone. We use it with this preposition, not any other preposition. For instance, I can say, I cannot rely on my sister. I can't rely on her. It means I can't depend on her. And in another example, I can say my brother is a very reliable person. Next word is to trust someone. To trust someone means you kind of believe that this person is a nice person and they wouldn't hurt you. That's trusting someone. What's important about this? You got to make sure that you're not using any preposition with trust. I hear a lot of people saying, I trust to him. Well, that is wrong. You basically have to say, I trust him. For example, do you easily trust your friends? Do you easily trust your friends? The next word has a tricky pronunciation. You got to pronounce it loyal, loyal. You got to make sure that you're not using a uh, between Y and L. Loyal, lo loyal. Like you have to kind of link it to each other. Loyal. What does it mean to be loyal? If someone is described as loyal, it basically means that they're good people, they're good friends, even in hard times. So you can count on them or you can rely on them even in hard times because they're loyal. He was always loyal to my father. Here's an example. I'm loyal to my wife. When you want to describe yourself and you want to tell other people that you're someone who likes being with other people, you can use the word sociable. Someone who's described as sociable likes the company of other people. In other words, they like to hang out with other people and they get energy, good energy and good vibes from the crowd and other people. That's sociable. I'm trying to be a sociable person these days. I'm hanging out with my friends more often. Now, a nice expression to keep in touch with someone. It means to stay connected either by writing, texting, or sending letters, whichever way that you deem plausible and fine. If you keep in touch with someone, 
then you stay connected with them. For instance, I can say, Omar is an old friend and we have always kept in touch. That means we've always been in contact with each other. Now, sometimes we have to get to know someone. Get to know someone. That means meet someone several times and then become friends. For example, I can say, I don't know Angela. I should get to know her before making friends with her. I should get to know her. It means I should meet her more often and after that, if she's a nice person, I will make friends with her. So keep that in mind. Get to know someone. A good collocation is to say something can go wrong or go wrong. If something goes wrong, it means that there is a problem with that process or whatever thing it is we're talking about. They were having a nice relationship and something went wrong. It, mean, it means that something, some problem popped up. Something went wrong with it. Sometimes when we're describing our relationships, we say that we have something in common with someone else. Well, that means we have similar interests, for example. Like when I say, I have a lot in common with Jane. That means we share a lot of interests or we kind of see eye to eye. Also, if I see eye to eye with someone, it means that we probably have a lot in common. It's mutual. Like if I kind of love listening to rap music, then probably Jane likes that too. And I would say that we have that in common. If you want to talk about past and say that you wish you hadn't done something, you can use the word regret. In a better form, you can say, I regret the fact that. Keep this phrase in mind. I regret the fact that. For example, I regret the fact that I split with her. It means, I wish I hadn't done that. I regret the fact that. Now it's your turn to make a sentence. Now, another way to say that someone breaks up with someone else when we're talking about a romantic relationship is to say someone splits up with someone else. After a lot of fights, they decided to split up. It means after all those fights that they had, they decided to break up, to put an end to their relationship. If you want to describe a couple who have a long-standing relationship, a relationship that is pretty strong, a romantic one, you can call that relationship a serious relationship. They have been dating for a couple of months now and they're in a serious relationship with each other. Or their relationship is getting serious. It means that it's getting deeper and deeper. Now, the last phrase here is to fall out with someone. It's very common for us to start having problems with other people in our relationships. And then because of that problem, we stop talking for a period of time. Like when my friend does something that I think is wrong and then we have an argument and then we stop talking, I can say, I had a falling out with my friend. To have a falling out with someone or to fall out with someone. When was the last time that you had a falling out with your friend? Guys, listen, eight is taken care of. Watch it again if you want to. Make sure that you learned every single word in this video.